That is a loving ethic. That is an ethic that says, oh, you are fucking up, but we're not going to throw you away. As I get older, I realize that there's actually no use in me really getting in beefs with the hypergamy girls or the divesters or the whatever. Do you? But that is not black feminism. Black feminism, and this is something that I've long critiqued, is filled with women saying we have to protect our men. Women who offer a pointed, salient critique of Black men's pursuit of, desire of, embrace of patriarchal ideals and still go out and march, still go out and organize, still advocate abolition because the desire is not to trample on Black men. The desire is to foment the transformation of Black men so that we can all live harmoniously. That is a loving ethic. That is an ethic that says... Oh, you are fucking up, but we're not going to throw you away. And that is a, by the way, the discipline that it takes to adhere to that ethic, it should not be underestimated. Rejecting ideals of disposability, y'all think that's the easy way? It is a much harder ideological lift to say, oh my God, look at this shit and they're unrepentant, and they're calling women out their names, and they're colorist. Okay, but I, you know, I guess maybe one of these people can be reformed, some of them, you know? That is harder. 